Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video, we're going to cover JavaScript data types. There are three categories of data types in JavaScript called primitive, trivial, and composite. Under primitive data types, we have a number, string, boolean, and big int. Under trivial data types, we have a null, undefined, and null, as we're going to find out, is actually treated as an object data type in JavaScript, so it's not uh, in itself a data type. And finally, under composite data type, we have an object, symbol, and function. So these are the three categories and all the data types in JavaScript. Now, I'm going to uh, open up uh, Firefox for developers and go to Web Developer Web Console. And here, we're going to use a type of operator to uh, see what the different values in JavaScript are going to evaluate to. So we're going to find out the type of uh, data type uh, of uh, all kinds of different values. So let's start with a number. So this is a number and should return, and it returns a number data type. You can type uh, a float as well. And uh, both integer and float in JavaScript are both treated as a number. So there's no distinguishment when it comes to um, treating it, treating the integer or float um, it, <clears throat> when it comes to data types. They're both a number. Next one is a big int. So that's a really big integer um, number. Type of um, string. So a string can be uh, any set of uh, characters, or it can be just one character as well. It's still a string. It can be uh, inside of a single quote, and if we do a number inside of the quotes, it's still going to be a string. If we say type of string, and convert, the, uh, so the string function converts a number to a string, so the type of this should still be a string. Okay, so that's an example of strings. Next we have um, Boolean data type, which is true or false. So type of true is a Boolean and type of false is a Boolean. So those are all going to be self-explanatory. So uh, and those are the uh, that covers all the primitive mm, data types in JavaScript. Now let's move on to the uh, composite and uh, see what they are. So let's look at the function first. So if we have a function that's a data type function, and if we have a class. It's also treated as a data type function. Um, type of symbol. That's going to be a symbol. And uh, one special case in JavaScript is, is a NAN, which stands for not a number. So. That's something to uh, keep in mind is that type of n a n, even though it's not a number, it's still a numeric value. So that can be a little bit confusing because in uh, computing, n a n stands for a value that cannot be expressed as a number. However, the the data type of n a n itself is still numeric. So that's why. Uh, JavaScript is still going to give us um, a number for the NAN data type. Um, okay, so another example I want to show you is the type of null, which is not going to be data type null, but it's going to be an object. And uh, I've read some things on why this is the case, and I haven't honestly fully understood why this is so, it, it has to do with, with uh, the way JavaScript was uh, designed in the beginning. And uh, one website explains it as a, um, let me 
pull it up here some um pull up this article so the net the null value is technically a primitive the way object or number are primitives this would typically mean that the type should also be null however it's not the case because a peculiarity with the way javascript was first defined so it's the way javascript was um <clears throat> created from the beginning and this is how it explains it in the first implementation of javascript values were represented in two parts a type tag and the actual value there are five type tags that could be used and the tag for referencing an object was zero so the tag for referring to an object was zero the null value however was represented as the null pointer and as a result of this similarity null has the zero type tag which corresponds to an object I don't, know, I don't know if this has made sense to you guys but uh, that's the way it is in JavaScript and just remember that null is going to be treated as an object not a null value uh, next let's look at the undefined variable so if we have some variable that hasn't been defined like um, let's just do some random value or variable type of variable type of type of clever techie okay so I'm not sure why this variable oh I think it's because variable is a keyword in JavaScript and um, it's treated as a number so here clever techie I haven't de defined this variable so that's why it's returning undefined which it should and uh, finally <clears throat> let's look at the object and array and the difference between the two data types so in JavaScript the um, the type let's look at the type of object first so actually yeah an object So this is the object notation in JavaScript and it returns an object which is <laughs> obvious but if we have an array which is defined inside the, the uh, uh, square brackets instead of the curly brackets like object so if we do this it's still going to be an object and so it, uh, the, since uh, both the object and an array are both treated as a data type we need some kind of a way to distinguish between the two and for that we can use a method called is array so if we use is array and then put the array inside inside of it we should um, get true because the data type is an array and if we use is array on the on the object then we should get false so that's the way to distinguish between an uh, object and array in JavaScript is by using the is array method okay so <clears throat> that covers all the data types in JavaScript and I've created this uh, cheat sheet here that you guys can glance through to look over all the data types that JavaScript has and um, we already covered all of these oh yeah we covered all of this and uh, you can also look at the chart to see what all the categories of these data types are as well and that's it for JavaScript data types if you guys like this video please like share and subscribe and I'll see you next time clever techie out